Chemotherapy induced nausea and vomiting is very common. It's a side effect that a lot of patients will encounter during their, their treatment with chemotherapy. And it's something that I think in the past we felt we'd got a handle on and we were managing really well. However, when you speak to patients, it's still a big concern. And if you speak to the public at large and you ask them what would worry them about having to have chemotherapy, they'd probably say, I'm worried that I'd lose my hair and I'm worried that I'd be sick. And although we are much better now at managing the side effect of chemotherapy-induced nausea and vomiting, there is still a cohort of patients who, for a number of reasons, may not actually have, an, have their treatment optimised. And that can be down to the fact that we as clinicians haven't done a full assessment of that patient's requirements before they start treatment. There are two things I'd certainly look at with any patient going on to chemotherapy. And one is the emetogenicity of the medication that they're having, i.e., the likelihood of it making the patient feel sick, and the other are the patient factors. So what criteria does the patient um, express that may actually make them more prone to be uh, nauseous or suffer from vomiting during their treatment? And if we don't make those assessments at baseline, quite often it's very hard to catch up during the courses of treatment to get control of nausea and vomiting. If we don't optimise treatment, on the first cycle, first dose of their medication. I think the future of uh, managing chemotherapy-induced nausea and vomiting comes down to education and training of the staff that are going to be managing the patients. So recognising the patient factors and knowing who's more likely to be uh, prone to, to have these side effects during their treatment and also the metagenicity of the medications, putting those risk factors together and then calculating the likelihood of nausea and vomiting to maximise and optimise the medication combinations that are offered to the patients before they start the first cycle. So education, education, education.